have five dollars forty nine cents. Please enter the number you wish to call. You have fifty five minutes. Hello. Hi, Lola. Hi. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Um, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so I'm doing a a project for history, and my teacher wants us to interview someone that has been around in 1964, and so okay. I will ask you questions about John F. Kennedy's assassination and the year 1964. So, um, my first interview question is, how was the Philippines like in 1964? Uh, this was the, it's 1964. This was the time when the Philippines was trying to leave the past colonization era. That means the colonizer then were the past were Spaniards, Americans, and the last was the Japanese. You will see the big influence of the Americans during this time <coughs> because of all the colonizers, the Americans were well liked and accepted by the Filipinos. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, during this time, yes. During this time, the Filipinos liked their lifestyle and mm -hmm. improved business and economic issues. The president then was president Gustavo Macabagal. It, it was during his time that the Philippines had their independence move from July 4 to June 12 because June 12 was the inauguration of the Philippine, first Philippine president, Aguinaldo, who proclaimed the independence in Cavite July, June, I, June 12. Okay. Um, what were you doing in 1964? 1964, <clears throat> I was... 31 years old then, I was a grade 6 teacher, home economics. I'm teaching home economics in a public school in Manila, which is near our home. I taught in the morning session from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Because in the public schools then, there are two sessions, a.m. and p.m. So I was assigned in the morning. In the afternoon, I took care of the family as a housewife and as a mother of two children, a boy and a girl. Um, that was it. Oh, um, my mom was not born at that time, right? Yes, of course. He was. She was born 1969. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there were two. There were only two children: a boy and a girl. You see, and Atidada and Kuya Dani. Okay. Um, how was your childhood like? My childhood. My childhood was fun and happy because I belong to a 
a large family. We are six siblings in the family. Two boys and four girls. I grew up in a close-knitted Roman Catholic home. My parents were loving and caring for all of us children. They saw to it that we enjoyed our childhood and we should have education, which is very important to them. Since I was the eldest, I helped my parents in the household chores and in taking care of my younger siblings. Although we were poor, all of us children were able to finish our college education. <clears throat> what was the government system like in the Philippines? During the time, that was during the time of President Pakabal, Pakabal. This, the Philippines was under a democratic presidential government, like the Americans also, because we patterned our government from the United States where uh, people has the freedom to speak, to act, and to do what they like. Of course, under the law. <coughs> what, what? Now they can speak what they like, and, and then they express their opinions. The government allowed the Philippine Peso to float in the free currency exchange market. And the, president, the, and the president was an honest man, even if he had only four years term. He, he introduced the first land reform program. He worked to suppress graft and corruption. And he was able to... to work from having and young have liberation of export program. Oh, um what was the president's name again? President Estado Macapagal. Uh, uh was he a good president? Huh? What? Was he a good president? He was a good, honest, and democratic president. Uh, I see. Um, okay. Uh, what did you think of John F. Kennedy's assassination? <coughs> During the time I was teaching in the public schools, when the news of President Kennedy's assassination, we thought he was he was really a good, friendly, and uh, and uh, democratic president. That's why we loved him very much. That was a real shock, and gave us sorrow when we heard the news of the U.S. president's death. Uh, this event reminded to move, move the differences among many people because we really like the president and his wife, Jacqueline Kennedy. Um, you know, uh, Lola, um, I, my school's name is John F. Kennedy and... Uh, that's why. Opo, um, and it's the 50th death anniversary of Jen of Kennedy. So that's why I'm doing this.
project to see what other what other um people from other countries thought about his assassination um so Did John F. Kennedy's death make an impact on the Philippines? Yes, of course. As, as, as I have said, the Kennedys were very much loved by the Filipinos. The tragic death of Kennedy united a lot of people with different beliefs. We were one because we were one in loving and honoring the president. We are, especially we and the teachers in our school, we read the story, the love story of John Kennedy and Jacqueline Kennedy. And we then, she, she taught also in the preschool. That's why he, we love her very much. And we, we learned also how the government in the United States was going then. So there were no big problems like the Philippines. That time, the Philippines also is going well, like the Americans. The death of uh, John Kennedy he influenced a lot of Filipinos since most of his speeches were really inspiring. And he is doing what he is talking about. That's why we believe in him. That's why. Filipinos wept unashamedly because of the murderous attempt on his life and his family because they were also there some of them, his family were there uh, it was tragic yes uh, he was indeed a good president yes um so that was my last interview question, Nola. You helped me a lot on my project. And um, thank you very much. Have a nice day. And I'll talk to you later. You're welcome. And good luck for your project. Thank you. See you. See you.